But then I got into a fight with Edison in Vegas. Okay, we got into a horrible fight. And I was like, I'm going. I'm leaving. I, in, in a Starbucks, by the way. Public area. It was so embarrassing. I got so mad at him. I was like, I'm, I'm literally leaving. I went upstairs in my mind, fully grabbing my bags, leaving, booking a flight home to Va to Nor like to, to Ca California. I was literally gonna book the flight because I was so dramatic, I was so heated. And then he's like, he finds me. He's like, "What are you doing?" Because I'm in the lobby, and I was like, "I'm going home." <laughs> and he's like, "Are you serious?" And I was like, "Yes, I'm going home. I don't want to be here anymore." I was so obnoxious, right? I was like getting my way because normally like this is where I was trained by my first boyfriend I run away he comes to chase me and Edison's like are you like I'm not like he's like I'm not gonna tolerate this like you can't just leave if I'm trying to talk to you and you leave that's not fair to me and I was like what do you mean like if I'm gonna if I want to leave I'm gonna leave <laughs> you're supposed to come chase me and apologize that's what Mikey always did <laughs> Edison Len never did that Never did that. If he felt like he was in the right, he was in the right, and I was in the wrong, it did not matter. So I was like waiting for him to come apologize to me half the time because I was like, that's what my first boyfriend did. <laughs> it's like, no. So I was like, what the heck? So I was taught, like, it's, it's weird. Like, when you're in a relationship for so long, you kind of learn, like, hold, hold, it's coming back. I don't, OBS just disconnected. Hold, hold, hold. Hold, hold. I was a tox I was toxic. I mean, for sure. Like you just you learn these things though. Because I was kind of in high school I was like or college, early high school, college relationship. Refresh. In 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 early high in early college relationship, you you literally um I don't know. That's just the way it was for me. I was like, okay, cool. I learned this. My very first relationship. I get mad, I leave. Boyfriend then 20 minutes later, comes chasing me, says, babe, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, no, it's not good enough. And he's like, I'm so sorry. I'll never do it again. I love you, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, okay, <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> and then, um, and then I tried that on Edison and he was like, what are you doing? <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> he's like, absolutely not and then I, I was like oh my gosh <laughs> yeah that makes sense that makes sense I won't do that anymore so we had it as like a rule for us um when we would fight it wasn't that often but when we would fight I had a bad habit of getting up and leaving because I can't like I I hate fighting so I would just get up and leave and so we then decided um we would our resolution was like because I told them well, I need space like when I'm heated I don't really ha communicate effectively um I it's like it just doesn't it's not effective and he's like okay well then those moments you just call for like a break like call for like a 10, 20 minute just 20 minutes of space he's like I'll always give that to you and I was like okay and so then that's what we did and it actually worked like for a while like we would argue and I'd be like can I just get some space and he's like yeah and we would separate for 20 minutes and then I'd come back and I was like okay I thought it over I'm not as mad, blah, blah, blah. Can we talk now? What was upsetting? And it was always so calm. Like we would never, like it was never yelly. We never, any of that stuff. Anyway, so I was, that was a, like I'll never blame myself for being like super toxic back then because I was young. I, I, I'll let myself, like I let myself make those mistakes. Um, I was, I, but I, like I acknowledge that I was just not, a, that was not healthy. I was, I was really immature back then. And my, I learned that my solution was when I didn't get my way, I would just run away. I would just leave. I wouldn't like hear anyone out. I just like, I'm leaving. I'm going. I'm not talking about this. I don't want to have this argument because I hated arguing so much. So I was like, why am I going to just be here and argue when I can just leave? Goodbye. So that was my situation, or my, my solution every time. Just run, leave. And then, you know, then it became, and then I fixed it. It was, okay, can I get 20 minutes of space? And he was like, yeah. 20 minutes of space. We'd get our space. I'd think about it. I'd cool down. My heart rate would return to normal. And then I would just be like, oh. Slay, leaving queen. No, don't do that. <laughs> it was so bad. It was so bad. And now I'm the opposite. Like I, I, like, I will always resolve something. Like, no matter what. It's just, I, I will always, like, resolve something in, in the moment. I don't even need 20 minutes, I think. It's just, you just resolve it, you know? Anyways. So, I mean, yeah, like you have, what, how would you even started this talk? Was it the water bottle? 